Another vault with little information is Vault 27, but we do have some wiggle room for speculation. I've mentioned the Fallout Bible before, but I'll go over it again. In 2002, Black Isle Studios game designer Chris Avalone, who worked on Fallout 2, Van Buren, and Fallout New Vegas, released a series of documents titled The Fallout Bible. It provided a bunch of background information about the lore of Fallout, specifically Fallout 1 and 2, as those were the only games released at the time. It was to serve as a way to consolidate information for the upcoming Van Buren title, but as the game was cancelled and Bethesda took over the IP, all of it is considered non-canon. That doesn't matter to us as this series is covering all vaults, canon or not, that appear in any Fallout licensed media. And with that, here's all the information I have on Vault 27, word for word from the Fallout Bible. This vault would be overcrowded deliberately. 2,000 people would be assigned to enter, double the total sustainable amount. The location of this vault is unknown. Pretty neat concept actually, I think, but we know that Vault Tech ran a boatload of test drills, so it's very unlikely that with the Cry Wolf effect, it would have reached the 2,000 population threshold. Even still, as long as it got to at least 1,000, then I'm sure it would have been interesting to see how it played out.